Vlog day 119. Three miles in, a little bit slower than the other day. Just uh, just over an eight minute pace. So let's see if this last mile can kick it in. And by the last mile kicking it in, I mean me. And by kicking it in, I mean into gear. And it's the first thing I'm doing in the morning, so somebody cut me some slack. 406. 3308, I think it's like a, just over an eight minute pace. Uh, it's locked. I, I shouldn't be disappointed because it's still a really good pace. 809, I think, is a really good pace. But uh, there's that part of me that's like, Ugh, but I could have been under eight. Oh well, next time. <laughs> food in the house, so uh, I think you'll get a post-run sandwich. I had no idea anyone lived up there. I've never seen those windows open, and now there's laundry? Hmm. I wonder if they have a view. Leaves are looking pretty good, Kelleran. It's getting to that, like, golden stage of crispiness. That you didn't know that was a stage. So I'm gonna go send my friends uh, Jeremy and Erica off. They're the ones that I tried that bottle of wine with last night. The resolution to that was that we we don't know. Um, it wasn't offensive. Definitely wasn't vinegar. It tasted pretty good. There was a weird, very distinct flavor to it that like kind of like cookies or cake or something like that. Besides having to spit out a little bit of cork here and there because we had to dig straight through the cork just to get me out. It was wine just barely missed my train. So John was asking me a little bit about how like I made it here from the island because it didn't seem too terribly clear to him. And I went there to get a jump start to kind of get away from where I was and start thinking clearly I hoped. And while I was there, I really did start to feel healthier. Like it was really good for me. The mosquito bites weren't great, but the, the time alone and kind of the discomfort of being there. There's something about stepping outside of your comfort zones that really helps you to think more clearly, I think. It, really helps you to put priorities straight. And for me, I was planning on coming to Paris in October. Basically, NerdCon was the only thing I knew for sure, so I thought, I'll go to the island until NerdCon, I'll do NerdCon, and then if I don't know what to do from there, I'll go to Paris. But in that mode of like thinking more clearly on the island, I definitely was like, why take that risk? Because I started to really want to come back to Paris. That's a sign of health for me. Like, if I want to be in Paris, things are right. Since I started to feel that stirring, like, I need to get to Paris, I was like, why wait? I take the risk. I, I don't know what's gonna happen in October. I don't even know if I'll be able to go to Paris, you know, like, I, that was kind of, that was the mentality behind that decision in a lot of ways, was like, I want to go there and I really, I just got excited about the idea and I got excited about the possibility of surprising my friends and I just went for it. One handy trick if you're ever jumping from line six to line one, it dumps you on the far side, like the doors open there first. If you just wait a second, you can come out the other side and straight onto the first line. It's good to know. Blue versus yellow. These guys take their Pokemon super seriously. Well, clearly I should have brought oh, my coat and now my shoelaces. <laughs> That's a very French red hat you've got going on. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy and Erica are sent off. We are wondering. She needs a sandwich. She hasn't eaten anything. I just want something to drink, I think. I always thought, and Americans in general think, Paris is a, is a very romantic city. No. She disagrees, but she's lived here for 12 years and I think that's the problem is like, I've been here so much, I'm finding it to be less romantic too, which is tragic. So there's a part of me that wants to figure out how to properly maintain some of the romance that is Paris. Don't post things. 
It is sunny. We're on the hunt for a sandwich. Merci à vous. Selection was not uh, up to par, so we're moving on to the next. There are so many Japanese restaurants here. I want to move to this part of town. All right. Boulangerie number two. Fail. Fail. <laughs> it even says sandwiches. Boulangerie three. Fail. Boulangerie cat, aka four. Boulangerie four. Oh yeah, look at that. I think we found your your sandwich. Great ballet dress. Good. Yeah, it was good. I love France. <laughs> Under the Irish flag? Trying to see that. <laughs> English pub over. I don't know what's going on now actually. Uh, you're, she's gonna go to another thing. I'm probably gonna try and actually get a few things done. That's that's it. I've got nothing else. Got some work done, and now I'm gonna go join some friends out. I got some editing done so that I don't have to worry about all of it afterwards because I'll probably be out kinda late. And now I'm gonna get a sweatshirt and go. I wanted to say that I'm sorry about the whole wine situation. I know that really cut off early yesterday and was not satisfying. Trust me, it was not satisfying for me either. <laughs> oh.